Jeff, sequestering the jury. You think that's going to happen? Well, no, it's generally not done in Arizona. Uh, I think that there's a more likely chance they'll exclude the media than that they'll start mm. uh, sequestering. It's just not generally done in Arizona. Hey, I know you've hit your sources there. You and I were there together as uh, the, all the drama unfolded. What are, what are people in Arizona saying about either these issues or a possible deal in the works, Jeff? Well, the deal in the work, Mike, that's a really the most interesting issue of all. There's a settlement conference scheduled for October the 24th. A retired judge is going to uh, sit down with the attorneys for both sides. That's real. That's not just, you know, a management conference. That's something where the uh, county attorney, Mr. Montgomery has said that he's open to listen. Uh, the defense up until this point has been saying, well, come to us and tell us what you have. Now, what's the possibility? I don't really know because Jody Arias, on the one hand, has uh, set up via her attorneys all types of appeals. Uh, and it seems to me she's the type of individual, sort of narcissistic, that may want to be in the news every year with mm -hmm. another hearing while she's waiting death penalty. But on the other hand, if there was a deal, something like you get life, you waive all your appeals, that case could be over. You know, interesting. And let's get you to weigh in on this. And again, here's the quote from the Maricopa County attorney talking about what this settlement conference, and it's vague terminology, and it kind of sums up what Jeff's saying, that the state's always willing to discuss possible resolutions to this case. So how does that go down, Anna? I mean, these they get in there, and a settlement conference plays out how? Right, Mike. I mean, I think that the, the prosecutor is really going to have to balance the difference between what the victims want, meaning Travis Alexander's family, and what would be the best resources expended for purposes of either settling or taking it to the death penalty and picking another jury. I mean, I really think that the prosecutor is going to have to take into consideration the resources. And Jeff raised a good point about whether Jody Arias would waive her appellate rights for purposes of exchanging, you know, getting death off the table and having life. I, I don't personally see that happening mm -hmm. because the defense attorneys have put so many issues and they've preserved the record for purposes of appeal I really don't see that happening and I agree I think Jody Arias is somewhat narcissistic and I think she wants to keep this in the media she wants to make sure her name is still relevant I just don't see a settlement happening I don't know that's just my inkling that's my okay. opinion well let's we'll see listen. what happens though you know she likes her voice to be heard and one of the last times we heard her speak was in her allocution she's basically speaking to the jury pleading for life so let's listen to that and then we'll talk about it coming out this is the worst mistake of my life. It's the worst thing I've ever done. It's the worst thing I ever could have seen myself doing. In fact, I couldn't have seen myself doing it. Before that day, I wouldn't even want to harm a spider. I'd gather them up in cups and put them outside. To this day, I can hardly believe I was capable of such violence, but I know that I was. And for that, I'm gonna be sorry for the rest of my life. Probably longer. Horrified by what I'd done, and I'm horrified still. There again, we're listening to uh, Jody Arias. You know, Jeff, I agree with Anna. I, I can't see her. I think she thinks she can win some kind of an appeal down the road, and I don't think she's going to take that off the table. What do you think? Well, I, you know, I do think that that's likely, that that's the idea. And then, you know, 15 years from now, the uh, Supreme Court of Arizona can reverses it and gives her a new trial. That could happen too. But, you know, there is one thing that locals pointed out to me today um, is that if she gets life in prison, she'll be where she is, you know, in confinement for another couple years. But if she's good, the rest of the time will be spent in a medium security facility, kind of like where she's been in jail. And you know what? That could have some attraction to her. She could say, you know what? I am going to do the rest of my life in prison. I might as well do it in a medium security uh, facility where I can enjoy my life, as opposed death to death, uh, death row, where she'll be locked up for 20 23 hours a day. So there is some, you know, uh, merit to the idea that she would want to settle. And I recall she tweeted something fairly ambiguous uh, once recently where she said she wasn't appealing um, after the uh, case because she was waiting to see what would happen, meaning, mm. you know, would there be an offer? So you never know. I think there is some drama coming up for October 24th. Yeah, it's Jody Arias. We can expect that. And, and Anna, we're finding out that the judge is not Judge Sherry Stevens, but a judge by the name of James Keppel. And we're hearing good things right. about this judge. Uh, he's a little bit older, right. fatherly, uh, a wise judge. I isn't that what's needed here as you've got this high, high-profile case? You've got Jody Arias, who you, you, it's like trying to nail Jello to the wall to get her to tell the truth. You've got a lot of factors here, Anna. <laughs>
<laughs> right, absolutely. I completely agree with you on that. I mean, this judge is a retired judge, and, and that's what you want in terms of someone who can try to facilitate a settlement, someone who can kind of detract from the situation, because as you know, Judge Stevens uh, was the judge for the actual trial, and this judge, he wasn't the judge for the trial. He's older, he's retired, he's going to look at everything, and he's really going to see if he can bring the two attorneys together, because that's the entire purpose of trying to reach a negotiated disposition and trying to reach settlement. I think that she has that in her favor if this case is going to settle. All right, our justice squad locked and loaded, and we're going to talk about this one coming up. Florida woman.